came across this device recently. It's been around many years, apparently. I just didn't know about it. USB 3.0 to gigabyte. It's an adapter. You can use it on iPhone, uh, laptop, or a desktop computer. For about three years or more, I have been arguing with my internet service provider about the speed, internet speed, of my laptop being slower than the internet speed on my desktops. And when I run the speed test on the desktop, that speed comes back as pretty close to what I'm paying for from my internet provider. But the laptop speed has been about half of what I thought it should be. And I've I've contacted my internet provider complaining about it and I got excuses from them like well your router is out of date which it isn't it's got a DOS uh, 3.0 or 3.1 3.1 I think which is pretty new so I, I plug this into my a laptop and all of a sudden my internet speed doubled I couldn't believe it and you'll see that in a couple of short clips that'll that are attached here so you don't get for any any more speed than what you're paying for on your ISP bill so my internet bill uh, covers me according to my provider paying for 150 and it is now they're giving me the extra 50 for the download so a 200 and you'll see what I get on my speed test I've done a number of them and a simple thing of unhooking the Ethernet cable from the port in my laptop and using this device through my USB port as long as it's a 3.0 port, doubled my speed, more than doubled my speed. So I thought maybe some of you might be interested in that if you come across the same thing where certain devices of yours have slower speeds than a desktop, using the, you know, everything else being the same, you know, are on the same network, you have the same service provider. So that's what I'm saying. You get what you pay for, but in my case, for the last three to five years, I haven't been getting what I paid for. I use my laptop way more than my desktop, so my testing of my desktop as far as speed was very seldom, usually when I'm on the phone to my ISP provider arguing about why the heck am I paying for speeds, internet speed, that I'm not getting. That's when they come up with all these ex excuses. Anyway, hope this helps out at least one person. And you'll know here's what the answer is. And remember, you can also use this on an iPhone. Now, uh, YouTube has many uh, reviews and unboxings of this device. But this is not an unboxing other than what I just took apart to show you the packaging of what it is. So stay tuned, and you'll see some more things here shortly. And by the way, this is only using internet cable and not using Wi-Fi for any of the tests. 